Hey there, while I feel comfortable enough and have been getting a little bit out of my depression enough to want to be on camera again. It's been several days that I just, I've been so depressed I haven't, haven't wanted a shower or really much of anything because I've, I've just been so down over the, uh, my friend, I'm still going to call her my friend because I have hopes that maybe she'll, she'll change her, her mind about, you know, not wanting to associate with people who don't buy into her ideology. Um, the left, you know, it, I've been on forums since the late 80s, and I've said before that I ran my own forum for seven years, a PHPBB forum. And my friend is the one that helped me out with it. She's known my mindset all this time. I had a section on the forum that said, uh, uh, hateful and bigoted posts. And anytime someone would post, some, po post a thread that was really nasty, I would move it to that section. I didn't censor, but I moved it to a section that I felt was more appropriate. You know, I've always taken this sort of stance on free speech. People should be able to say what they want, but if it gets categorized a certain way and put in a different place, you know, that's not censoring someone. You know, it's, it's just categorizing. And, you know, I've always taken that stance. I've always taken that route. And that's why it just somewhat confuses me why my friend... Why she's expecting me to just change all of that? You know, I should change that or, or I can't be your friend. It, it's just weird to me. But the one thing that I've found since I've been on forums since the late 80s is that the left tends to be the ones that want to censor the most. Oh, you should delete that post. Oh, you should, uh, you know... Uh, uh, the uh, sysop should delete the post. The moderators should delete those posts. No, no, you can't say that. Um, that violates this uh, code of conduct, right? This violates our terms of service on this forum. This violates our rules. We'll just, just make it even simpler, right? Rules. Now, I understand, you know, when people want to stop someone from bullying others, you know, that makes sense. You know, don't continue to hound someone with insults without giving anything, uh, without actually saying anything. You know, and I can understand wanting to censor that type of thing. But the idea of just wanting to censor ideas, yeah, I, I've, I've always felt that's messed up. And she knows that I've felt that way. Um, but I tell you, um, knowing... I just, I have thousands of friends on Facebook. Um, most of them I haven't met in person, obviously, but the large majority of my friends on Facebook are in the LGBT community. Now, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have been so friend happy. You know, maybe I shouldn't have, you know, friended so many people on there. But I, I guess it's something that I, I didn't think about, the, 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 the repercussions of that. But I see so many posts from my LGBT friends on Facebook 
that parrot some of the same kinds of things as, as my friend that dropped friendship with me. And I know that if I were to, there was a number of, of subjects that if I actually posted about and stated my views on, there would be hundreds of people that would unfriend me. Now, maybe I should just look at it as well, you know, let, some people say, oh, well, let the trash take itself out. But I, I don't look at these people as trash. You know, they have a different opinion than I do. You know, that shouldn't, that shouldn't, that shouldn't be something that makes someone unfriend someone. At least to me, it shouldn't mean that. You know, I find diversity of mindset to be a, an important thing. I think it's important to have a diverse set of friends. You know? People that will tell you when something is wrong on either side, you know, from either side. I shouldn't even say either side because there's often three or more sides to any issue. So, but it's easiest to, to put it on an axis of, you know, put it on a single axis. But I've talked about before how I've had experience in the LGBT community of being called being called a bigot, had the word shame uh, spoken to me. But the bigot one is, is the one, like, I've always known that it is not very effective to make demands that people accept something. It's not very effective in getting people to come to your side if you're insulting them. You're not going to get people to come to your side if you shame them. That's, that's not how you get people to come to your side. That doesn't work. You know, sure, it makes the people who already are on your side, you know, root, they'll root for you. Oh, yes, you're calling them out. But when it comes to actually changing the minds of the people who actually need to hear a, another message, it doesn't do any good. And I'll bring up an example. I brought it up a number of times before. The people who have, have heard this before, you can go ahead and forward the video for a little while because I'm going to describe it again. In the early 90s, I think it was 93, I think, there was a bill that was, uh, there was it was an initiative that was similar to, uh, an, I can't remember the, the number of the initiative, it was similar to Measure 9 in Oregon, which thankfully didn't pass. It was considered a religious freedom bill uh, initiative that would basically make it so religious people could discriminate against anything they want. It would, well, not anything they want, discriminate against LGBT. It allow anyone to discriminate against LGBT, actually. And including hospitals and insurance companies and the whole works. Fire department. And it would remove any LGBT material from public school libraries and other libraries. I mean, it was, it was a nasty bill. But they touted it as, oh, it's a religious freedom bill. That's how they, they worded it. We need our freedom. And so they had a, a planning meeting for this initiative at the Lakewood Mall, when that still existed. There is no more Lakewood Mall. It's now the Lakewood Town Center, which is a it's series of strip malls now. But they had this, this boardroom, this big room that they, you could have meetings in, and they'd... Uh, They had a planning meeting for, you know, a, 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 
I don't know what you call it, a planning meeting or whatever, but it's, it's a meeting for people that want to know more about the bill, and it's hosted by some of the people who, who put together the bill, the initiative. And so a couple friends of mine and I dressed really conservatively and went to that meeting so we could ask them pointed questions, ask the speaker pointed questions that would force the audience to realize what the bill is about. So as he's going on talking about freedom, 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 we said, well, what about this part here? This would just allow full, dis this would allow discrimination. He doesn't say that anywhere, the speaker would say, and we'd go, well, yeah, it does. It says it right here, and we'd read it off. Well, well, that's not what it meant. And we're like, yeah, but that's what it would do. And then the, whole, the audience, you, you see the audience kind of murmuring, and oh, we didn't, we didn't know it would be like that. Oh, my, oh, you know. And we did, we had, we, we stopped the, the whole thing kind of like that uh, three different times, having the audience murmur and going, wow, this bill doesn't seem like it's a very good idea. When we finally get towards the end of the meeting and act up, it's a, a, it's a gay activist organization, LGBT activist organization, swing open the doors, barge open the doors, barge into the room, and say, you should all be ashamed of yourselves. Shame, shame, shame. And they, they circle the room, and every step they took, they, they said the word shame. Shame, shame, shame. And when that happened, the speaker was smiling from ear to ear because we knew that a lot of the work that my friends and I had done to get people to see what this was about didn't matter anymore. People are like, oh, we need to stop this sort of thing. And I, I you know, that sort of method didn't work then. It doesn't work now. You're not going to get people to change their minds by, by yelling shame at them or telling them that they're terrible people or telling them that they're bigoted. You have to get to the base of why they think the way they do. You know? I, I remember another, another ACT UP member uh, in some of the, the early 90s uh, pride marches. And uh, back then they used to take, it used to end at Volunteer Park instead of the Seattle Center, but uh, I don't know why I needed to mention that. It's not important, it's not pertinent to what I'm talking about. But during the march, you know, I was, I was in this one called Oasis. It was a, a gay youth, uh, LGBT youth organization uh, here in Tacoma. And we were marching and ACT UP was one or two sets of groups ahead of us. And there were these people that had these, uh, uh, you know, a Westboro Baptist Church style uh, signs they were holding up. And ACT UP, some of the members of ACT UP would just run up to them. You have to accept me. You have to. You have to. You're bigot, bigot. You have to accept me. They need to be yelling that sort of thing at them. And I'm going, what are you doing? What are you doing? What do you think that's going to do? All that is going to do is cement in further that, that they don't like, you know, they don't like the LGBT community. You know, I, I just... I don't understand it. You know, the same thing with the, them, them picketing, the, in, in, the recent picketing in, uh, in Toronto, the uh, Chick-fil-A, protesting the, the opening of that and declaring that, that they're, all, they're, all like a, they're all white supremacists, they're all homophobes, they're all, they uh, oh Chick-fil-A's very existence is trying to erase gay people. All, all this sort of ridiculous rhetoric that just, it's just like, come on. You know, and, and you're hassling any, all the, the people that are waiting in line to go in, and it's just like, and you're calling them bigots and such. It's just like, what, what do you think you're doing? Do you think that really helps? You know?
And then I think about some of the responses I've gotten to uh, when I was talking about the Chick-fil-A and saying, would you, would you be doing this if they were Muslim? Muslims don't have power. It was actually said to me in the comment section as if they didn't watch the video. Muslims don't have power. The Christians are the ones with power, so they're the ones that we need to, to you need to make feel even worse about you? That's what you want to do? It doesn't make any sense. What does shaming accomplish other than making you feel good? What does it do? So I look at my Facebook feed and I see so many of these posts where people are just essentially saying that these people should be shamed out of existence, basically. And, oh, bigots should be shamed out of existence. It doesn't work that way. We all have to live in this world together. You know, let's, let's focus on the things that we agree on. Let's, fo let's try to focus on the positive things. If we can, of course, I, I certainly don't focus on the positive things very much. It's some of, some of why I'm dep a depressed person, but... We can't just be driving this wedge between people constantly, though. You know, if you want people to change their minds, at least try to come to them on, on their level as much as you can. You're not going to get anywhere by, by insulting and shaming people. It just doesn't do anything. It's... And, you know, and as I said in, in a in little text thing on my last video that, that I didn't explain very well, you know, what good, I, if there's someone that's so bigoted that there, there's, there's really so little of a chance you're going to get them to change their mind no matter what you, you tell them, what's the point, what's the point in conversing with someone who is that bigoted? I mean, if you want them to ramble more about their bigotry, yeah, you can you can converse with them. I, I, you know, oh well, you should you should delete those posts and block those people. No, I don't believe in that. Just like I said earlier about my my forum, you know, I I don't believe in doing that. You know, if people see that a channel is just gonna going to block and censor certain kinds of of viewpoints then what chance is there of having any sort of conversation there that isn't just a giant echo chamber? Now, people could say, well, I, I, if you don't converse with these people, then that's an echo chamber. I, I guess to a degree. But there's, there's levels of bigotry, you know? If someone is flat out saying that, that black people are inferior, I mean, what... What, what are you going to do? What are you going to say to them to get them to change their mind? You know, but if someone is just, someone is talking about culture, someone is talking about standards, someone is talking about human behavior, someone is bringing up problems with families in black communities or something, or they're actually bringing up something that's that there can be a reasonable conversation with then have that conversation that's that's a that's something that there might be someone that budges a little bit now granted i mean no matter what it's 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 not that likely that people are going to change their mind based off a comment section but i know for myself i know for myself i've changed my minds my my, my minds I've changed my mind many times because of discussions I've had on forums, discussions I've had on YouTube, video backs and back and forths I've had on YouTube. I've changed my mind many times. But I, I pride myself in trying to be open and, and questioning my own beliefs. I don't want to get completely stuck in a belief. Now, granted, as I get older, it's going to get harder and harder. And I'm already 46, but <sighs> but it's depressing 
looking at how many people that I that I'm friended with on Facebook who will just will drop friendship at the drop of a hat. Oops, you're you look like you might support Trump. Bye. You look like you might not support perfect equity. Bye. You look like you don't support concepts that are similar to the progressive stack. Bye. You're promoting inequality. Bye. And again, I, I've, I've seen it on forums since the late 80s where it tends to be the left that wants to censor and just cut off discussion. You said something bigoted. I can't, I can't uh, relate with you in any way, so fuck you, get out. Shame, shame. It's rather totalitarian. And I maybe, maybe that you don't have much power in your totalitarian views, but it's still totalitarian. And there are a lot of people out there who think that someone's life should be utterly ruined and they shouldn't be able to make money, they shouldn't even be able to get a bank account, they should essentially be living on the street because they have the wrong views. I mean, I can't even see doing that to someone if, if they literally are a neo-Nazi. I can't see someone being someone's life being completely ruined because there's a chance there's still a chance that someone is redeemable just about everyone is redeemable but the 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 way that things go now as i said in my uh, my uh, my video i i'm tired of living in fear you know there are people who who treat people as if they're not, if you have anything even remotely close to this belief over here, you're never redeemable. There's nothing the person could do to prove that they're, that they've moved on from those beliefs. It's weird to me when people will act like people can't change. You know what? This video may look like shit. It's been a really long video, but I just realized that I, uh, the last thing I was recording was low quality, and this is going to probably look like absolute crap. And this was a long video. This is a 23-minute video. Good job, Kazoom. Good job. I guess I don't know what more to say. I'm frustrated with myself now for, for not changing the quality. <laughs>